All right, as we face more downturn in the housing market, Congress is poised to eliminate seller-funded down payment assistance as part of the housing bill. My next guest is fighting the axe on this one. Scott Syfax is president and CEO of Nehemiah Corporation of America, one of the largest providers of this type of assistance. He joins hip-hop mogul Russell Simmons in fighting for what they believe is a very important program for American home buyers. Welcome tonight, sir. We thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now tell us first what your pro uh, program does. Well, essentially what our program does is it provides down payment assistance for folks who don't come from families who are able to give them the help that many of us enjoy in this country. Essentially, we stand in the place of your mom, your dad, your sister, and maybe a, another close relative in giving you the down payment you need in order to be mortgage qualified for an FHA insured mortgage. And we've done that over 300,000 times over the past 10 years. Okay, we know that the seller funded sort of program that you have makes up for about 40% of FHA loans right now. Is that right, sir? That is true. And now, what is happening with the housing bill? Is it going to allow this program to continue, the sort of program that you have, or has it just basically banned it? As of October 1st, this program will be banned in the United States, not only for organizations like Nehemiah, who do this on a daily basis, but in additionally, additionally for cities, counties, state housing finance agencies, anyone who indirectly participates in helping a deserving home buyer get down now, sir, payment sir, do you track do you track the default default rates on the loans the seller funder loans that you provide or foreclosures do you have any data to tell the american people that this this plan can succeed sure i do as a matter of fact uh, uh, we have data that shows that while our rates are slightly higher than FHA's own in terms of defaults and foreclosures. It is as they should be because we're reaching further into the community to give people a chance for home ownership. Okay, now, but, this, yeah, go ahead. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's been data out there that's been put out by others, specifically HUD, that uh, paints a very, very inaccurate picture. In fact, their data is so bad, you can put about as much validity into it as you can Enron's books. Okay, so let's back up a bit. Nehemiah, your program hit the $1 billion mark in gifts given since the program's inception. But, sir, you know, I think what's going on is, is that people in Congress may be listening to the American people saying, you know, we got to get some guardrails put up here. There, uh, one commissioner at the FHA criticized the planned uh, program to have 100% uh, seller-funded loans as saying, look, this is just going to end up putting bad loans on that, that never should have been given in the first place on the backs of the American taxpayer. You know, the American taxpayer is being asked to do a lot in this scenario. What do you say to that? What I say is this, is that that same FHA commissioner as recently as this fall was asking um, the Congress to give them the ability to do a mimic of the Nehemiah program itself. The fact of the matter is, is that this is the safety net in the market right now for first-time home buyers who don't have another place to go. And once we go away on October 1st, there is nothing, nothing across the United States to help deserving first-time home buyers move into home ownership. Okay, I think you may be caught up in this downdraft of, you know, basically people in Congress saying, look, enough, we don't want any more bad loans, we don't want any more uh, foreclosures put on the backs of the American people. I think that's what may be happening with your program. But, sir, we thank you for joining us tonight. We wish you the best of luck, and I admire you. I know you're trying to do the right thing. Just a little worried about the economics and having the, always a taxpayer being the ATM in this regard. But we wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Okay.